Hey lollies, this is Skeletchan from the Anime HQ, and these are my top 10 anime of 2015. Now first I would like to make some rules up. There are no sequels on this list, because I just figured I wouldn't even though I really haven't seen that many things, and I also wanted to like to let you guys know that, well, I really haven't seen that much of this seat year, or I dropped it. Now, if I did drop a show, it doesn't mean anything, I dropped things left and right, that's just kind of my thing. But anyway, on to number 10. Number 10 is actually the most disappointing thing on this list right now, is Roku no Yusha. It starts off fairly interesting, while my it kind of info dumps a little bit, but it, it, it does start off interesting. And then you get to a really cool mystery type sequence, and then like the last four episodes just kind of like ruin the series? Like it's not, I mean, it's just like maybe I left on such of a sour note that I didn't give it as much of a fair shot as I should, but I did enjoy like the middle section of the show. Number 9, and it'll annoy you that this is above Roku no Yusha as a Warrior no Seraph. It's a generic shonen anime, literally that's all it is, with vampire things and like, uh, under, I, I, it was just like, it was fun. That's it. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. And generic, but I liked it. For like, no reason. Ah, uh, yeah. Number eight is Junketsu no Maria, or Maria the Virgin Witch, Maria the Virgin Witch, or whatever. And, uh, it had some really cool, like, little action scenes, sort of, once in a while. It had some good shocking moments, and Maria was actually a really great character. But its ending was really lackluster, and there was, it was just like, it, it was like 50 50 on certain things being great, certain things being bad, and it was, uh, fairly, ended up being at least enjoyable. Number seven is Gate. I'm not saying the rest of the name, but it had a really interesting premise. You got this otaku weeb guy going to a different world with a mil other military people, and I mean, they didn't really explore it as much as I hoped, but it's basically all build up for what second season looks like to be hype. So yeah. Number six is Dungeon Ni Zdanmachi. And yeah, it's another generic shonen type show, but I actually really enjoyed this. It's like SAO, but actually good. It has boobs, blood. Boobs, blood, boobs, uh, has to have boobs, yeah, boobs, that's about it. Number, I'm on six? Five? Five? Yeah, five. Yeah, I'm at five, I, I didn't remember. Number five is Death Parade, and while it kind of leaves you empty-handed, like on the ending, like not everything is kind of resolved, it was still a pretty interesting show. It had a nice and unique concept, at least to me, and it was a sh one of the few episodic series that I could kind of enjoy because it did have a pretty un good underlying plot device type thing. And I ended up actually really enjoying it. Nothing really else to say, and it was done by Madhouse, so the animation was pretty good. Number four, a show by Rock, and everybody's gonna be fudging weird out, weirded out by the reason why this is on here. It was done by Studio Bones, and it's actually getting a second season, which I'm pretty excited for because. It was funny, and it had some actually dark moments, and while those dark moments weren't always great because of what it was, you know, it was there, and it had Yuri undertones. So, Yuri in second season, please, I really want it. Number three is Plastic Memories, and I'd like to say that a lot of people really dislike the fact that this show is predictable, but let's go in to say that, without spoiling anything, it's supposed to be predictable. It has beautiful animation, a decent soundtrack, and a good comedy that's kind of there to, uh, deter you from the real thing, which is the point, and it kind of makes you, like, it leaves you in, like, a sense of dread based on, you know, what's gonna happen. Obviously, I'm not gonna go into too many spoilers, but yeah. Number two is Akagami no Shuda Yukihime, and this was done in the summer season, I'm pretty sure, and obviously is my second favorite right now. It's just a really good romance. The soundtrack was incredible, the animation was really good, also done by Studio Bones. And I really just couldn't stop watching. I watched, well, I mean, I could. I watched it in setting, sittings, but overall, I just really enjoyed the animation. Shiro Yuki was a great female character, main lead thing, and she had red hair. So I had to put her at like, I had to put this anime at like number two, and the character interactions are great. So why not? I mean, it was a character driven story, obviously. Number one won't come to a surprise as many, uh, um, to many of you, and a lot of people. It's a kind of, kind of controversial in the fact that people like her. It's like, it's Gako Garashi has good drama, good psychological moments, it was fudge and I'm not gonna say too much because I don't really want to spoil anything, but I really enjoyed this season this year. It was, uh, excuse me voice, also done in the summer season, so it kind of made summer my favorite with Akagami and Gako Garashi. And I would recommend basically anything on this list, most people are going to at least enjoy something on this list, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
I don't really have anything else to say. I don't, I'm, I'm being really weird about this video. Uh, I'm kind of rushing this video out right now because this whole week was busy. I'm gonna go get my dog, take out his stitches, which he's doing good, by the way, uh, from all that. And it was my mom's birthday, so we had to go to my grandparents' house. We ate some pizza. I'm rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, make sure to give it a like. And if you disliked it, make sure to dislike it because dislikes are amazing. Sort of, not really. Anyway, I'll see you guys all next time.